This is an emergency appeal to the FDA, the MHRA, the EMA, and Wes Streeting, our new health secretary. Every day, around 50 people die from colorectal cancer in the UK. That's around 18,000 per year. In the US, around 50,000 will die, with it being the leading cause of cancer deaths in men under 50. Globally, approximately 1 million people will perish this year as a result of this dreadful disease. Despite this global health pandemic having lasted for centuries, very little gains have been made to improve survival for advanced colorectal cancer patients, with fewer than 10% of them surviving for more than five years. Incidence of diagnosis continues to increase at especially alarming rates for those of us younger than 50. I'm Samuel John, I'm 41 years old and live with my two young children and partner in South East London. I also have stage four colorectal cancer and I've lived with it for more than three years. In this time, I've had almost every treatment option available. Yet despite my best efforts, the cancer is still continuing to grow. At this rate, I may not live long enough to see my boys off for their first days at school. There has very recently been a new immunotherapy drug combination that has been through early phase trials in the US that has shown extremely promising results. MMRP colorectal cancer, which 95% of us patients have, has previously been unresponsive to any licensed immunotherapy drugs and for advanced cases, only very modestly responsive to any chemotherapy drugs that are currently on the market. Excitingly, this is the first multi-checkpoint inhibition immunotherapy drug which has shown any durable efficacy in MMRP colorectal cancers. In my three years of obsessively researching trial data in this area, these are the first promising and potentially groundbreaking results that I have ever seen. If this drug gets to market quickly, it could save tens of thousands of lives. Yesterday, however, on the 18th of July, the FDA discouraged a genus pharmaceuticals accelerated approval request, which could have seen it leapfrog the final trial phase, helping to bring the drug combo to market later this year. Instead, they have insisted that the usual archaic and glacial trial process must be completed. This news from the FDA meeting sent their share price plummeting by 59%. Trials that have to pass all three regulatory phases can take many years to come to market, years that I and countless others simply do not have. Some might speculate that the FDA might have a conflict of interest or a cozier relationship with other competing big pharma companies who stand to lose billions if their ineffective drugs are superseded. I, however, have far too much faith in the ethical practices of the commercial modern medicine industry to suggest such a thing. For too long, third-party not-for-profits and government health bodies have not intervened to lubricate and expedite the inhumane clinical trials process where there is an urgent and substantial patient need. The risk-reward ratio for critically terminally ill patients such as myself is entirely different to that of a healthy disease-free patient. So shouldn't drugs that are shown to be safe and effective be regarded as emergency medicines and be approved urgently for underserved patient populations on a humanitarian basis? The recent data presented by Agenis from their phase one and two trials clearly shows a substantial survival benefit, with the majority of patients trials surviving for more than 18 months. This is compared to bowel cancer patients on third-line standard of care drugs, which can extend survival by up to two months. That's right, a whole two months more of life. In their press release yesterday, they stated, a genus is advancing its efforts to bring bot bowel to patients in Europe. Engagements with the European Regulatory Authority to explore registration paths are scheduled for later this summer. These discussions aim to align on the regulatory path 
for approval of the bot bell combination in Europe. I implore you, Wes Streeting, the MHRA, the European Medicines Agency, to sit up and take notice of these startling data and proactively engage with the genus, helping to bring this drug combination to license in Europe and the UK within the next few months. Emergency protocols have been initiated as a result of other recent health crises. Why not for this one? The historic and ongoing pandemic of our time. This needs to be approved with the steadfast urgency that it warrants, so more people like me aren't having their lives cut short, just as they're beginning. Please see the data and press releases for yourself using the links I've pasted below, and let me know what you think. Time is a luxury that I and many others now have in very short supply. Thank you for listening. <laughs>